feeling really good, yeah. Um, been training solid now for uh, all of this year and uh, look, just looking forward to getting back in there and getting back on track with my career. Last year was a real bad one and uh, I'm embarrassed about some of my actions and, and the way I behaved, but um, it's in the past and just got to look forward now and move on. You know, I'm 29, so I'm not that young of a man now. It's gone quick, you know, I was, I was 21 two minutes ago. Next thing you know, you're you, you, you nearly 30, aren't you? And you know, got to yeah, yeah, just uh, learn from all the mistakes and uh, not let it happen again. Uh, that was our fifth, 15 now. So that's um, fucking 14 years ago. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? My dad's told me and everything. Like a right dog, don't I? <laughs> this last two years gone so fast. Scurry and uh, what have I, I'm not, I'll be, you know, a year, a year and nearly a year and a half since I've boxed. And uh, in, in over two years, I've only boxed twice. So, uh, you know, it's time to uh, put my foot down and, and uh, try and make, uh, make, well, make sure I make the most of my last years in the game. Yeah, yeah, I have two children. It gives me uh, extra motivation. It's uh, to, to, to go and uh, make a, create a nice life for them. And uh, also, you know, it's not, you know, it's not about me. So I've got to do it for them. And, uh, uh, you know, I keep me keep my head down and uh, work hard, provide a nice life for them. It's in the um, Cheeseman Metcalf fight the other week, and that was a really good fight. Great win and great performance off Ted, and uh, he looks like he's got himself in a good place. Uh, so, you know, um, they've uh, I've sort of let them get get above me. Uh, so, I've, so I've got to fight my way back and. Uh, uh, you know, hopefully them, uh, maybe either Ted or Fowler rematch can happen uh, before the year's up and, uh, or whatever other big fights, but just got to make sure I'm, I win, I win, who they put, uh, win against who they put in front of me and uh, keep making my way up, yeah. We'll come on to them potential fights in a minute. The other big change is you're back here. Yeah. Dad's gym. Yeah, yeah. Just talk uh, us through the sort of move back home. Um, I just, uh, I, you know, I, I needed to be at home and, uh, 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 some uh, my own reasons, like, and uh, I'm just uh, happy here. I'm, I'm happy here anyway. They got these classrooms now, and there's a school. Uh, uh, it's a school in, called Awkward Education. Uh, you got some of the lads in here today, and that, and uh, you know, I, I, I help out in here as well. So, uh, it's, uh, it's something I can pass my knowledge on to these kids coming in here, and hopefully, uh, you know, make, make, get, get them a bit more knowledge on. Yeah. how to go about things and that's what I'm trying to do, uh, give, give back and uh, show them a bit of boxing and talk to them about uh, which way to go in life and that as well so you know and uh, what not to do and stuff like that yeah and uh, hopefully they listen, they seem some good kids in here as well so. This is Jake, one of the lads from the school I've been working with and uh, so how do you, uh, have you been finding it in the gym? Uh, it's yeah. good. I like it, it's like one of the best schools that I've been to, so. Yeah, you do, Mo's a good lad as well, so uh, he's 15 and so old I were when I had my first fight, so hopefully I get these amateurs back on, we'll get you a fighter. Yeah. And yeah, win yourself some gold medals and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gone fast since then, and uh, you know, a lot of it, it's gone really fast, a lot of that time was just a blur, and uh, but uh, it was nice, you know, I'd always uh, been, my dream was just to win that British title and uh, I won it. And then, uh, you know, I didn't get, I didn't get right back in the gym like I should have. And, uh, and then by the time uh, I did get back to it, it's when COVID kicked in and stuff. So uh, I kept saying to my dad, I was going, no dad, I'm just going to chill until this COVID's done. I'll just chill until these COVID's, this COVID's done and then we'll get back on it. And my dad, yeah. Uh, my dad was saying, but it's got that might last uh, a year or something like that. And I'm going, I, did, I didn't think it would, but. Right now, not fighting in eight, 18 uh, months, basically. Um, I, I want, uh, yeah, I want, I want a few fights and uh, uh, one or two fights. And then I think like uh, uh, trying to get my British title back would be, yeah, ni nice move for me. And, uh, you know, get that back and, uh, maybe uh, win it outright or just move on from there, Europeans and Worlds, but definitely the, uh, the good fights for me for that British. There's a uh, Cheeseman uh, who's just looked good winning it back and uh, Fowler uh, who's looked good in some performance in some of his fights, yeah. in his last few fights and uh, they, they might fight for each other for it in the meantime and uh, you know I beat both of them so 
if they, you know, what, what, whichever one of them's holding it, if they want to get, you know, the revenge, they can, they can give me that fight, can't they? Get a fight or two, or two fights in, and, I, and I'm ready for it, either one of them then, so. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, father especially, I'd like to go and, since that fight, you know, it's been a mad one, really, for me, and uh, I'd like to go back and redo that, and do an even better job, and, uh, and move on from there, uh, staying focused, you know. After um, after it and move on to bigger things. Then uh, I saw bits of it um, the other forte the other week, and he looked uh, yeah, he looked decent. Uh, looked decent. He's not. He's he's changed a few things, but it's still always be the same as well. So so I'm confident I can beat him again and do a better job on him. Eddie had mentioned uh, this fight um, I have coming on May first and uh, one in July and then maybe a big one in October, but yeah, one of them two before the end of the year would be nice and uh, confident I can win that, get my title back or whatever it is and, uh, and, and then move on to a big 2022 where I uh, carry on where I left off. You know, I have to make sure I'm on it though and uh, no slip ups, make sure I um, uh, get that win and I can move on to these bigger ones then, but can't look past that for now. You've got your Preston jacket on there. Yeah, yeah. I know the fans have turned out in force for your last couple of fights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've been unbelievable outside the stadium singing, you know, no offense, no offense songs and so my, my name and stuff. It's an amazing feeling. So, so uh, yeah. I, I know, I, you know, I get a lot of people I see in the chat too and all message me and they say, I'm um, like, oh, they can't wait for the next big nights and that. So, hopefully, this uh, COVID's coming to an end and uh, hopefully by the end of the year they will be allowed back to normal fans in and I can have one of them big fights you know to bring uh, and they can all have a good night. So in my last few years in the amateurs they were always like uh, the lads from the lo local, a good few from the local public come and they'll be cheering my name and uh, uh, so I, I don't know for it to be but no one there and just yeah it's going to be weird but I'll just have to deal with it. Might be nice, you know, it might be all right after not boxing for a bit yeah. and coming back and just the less pressure of yeah, yeah. everyone being there sort of thing, you know. Yeah. May, may, I usually thrive off it though, but but I'm sure I'll be fine. It's at the MEN as well, that's where I made my um, debut and uh, I've not boxed there since, so it'd be nice to go back there. And uh, yeah, look forward to get, uh, making sure I do the job and then I can watch them other fights as well. It'd be a good night of boxing, so. Just finally, Scott. What can fans expect to see from Fitzy? He's back May the first. Um, just a, a good, solid performance, and a, a man glad to be back in the ring, and uh, uh, looking forward to some big nights ahead. Yeah.